What if Michael Schumacher, the legendary F1 champion, had become Ferrari's team principal? How different would the landscape of F1 look today? Picture this. Michael Schumacher, the man with an astounding 91 victories and 7 world titles, not behind the wheel, but at the helm of the entire Ferrari team. After a spectacular career that saw him bow out of F1 at the end of 2006, Schumacher's departure from Ferrari was reportedly orchestrated by then-president Luca Di Montezemolo. But the story didn't end there. Between 2007 to 2009, Michael Schumacher continued to play a pivotal role in the team, before making a sensational comeback with Mercedes in 2010. This was a man who, despite leaving the racing track, never really left the world of F1 behind. Michael Schumacher, the racing legend, was never far from the Ferrari team, even after his departure. Could Schumacher have been more than just a technical advisor for Ferrari? A question that has lingered for years, and it turns out, the answer is yes. Jean Todt, the German's team boss at Ferrari, dropped a bombshell revelation. Schumacher was offered the chance to become the team's new sporting director, or team principal. However, the seven-time champion declined the offer. Instead, the reins were handed over to Stefano Domenicali, who served as team principal from 2008 to 2014. Domenicali, who now holds the position of CEO of Formula One, took the helm in a time of transition for Ferrari. Even as the team evolved, Schumacher remained a key figure. He served as an advisor to driver Felipe Massa, lending his wealth of experience and strategic insight to the team's efforts. Schumacher's influence remained strong, but he chose to stay out of the team principal role. While Schumacher's decision kept him off the Ferrari's management, his influence on F1 remains undeniable. The Scuderia struggled to maintain the momentum they had with Schumacher, Tott, and Braun, leading to a decline in their success. The issues persisted under subsequent leaders. Even with the fastest car on the grid in 2022, Ferrari couldn't clinch the title. Now, imagine a different scenario. Mercedes boss Ross Braun had touted the seven-time F1 world champion for a role in their team's management at the close of 2012. Had it not been for his unfortunate skiing accident the following year, it's highly likely that Schumacher would have been a pivotal part of either Mercedes or Ferrari's future. Schumacher's transformative influence on F1 can't be overstated. He changed drivers' approach to fitness and preparation and was a force of nature on the track. His decision to decline the role of team principal left us wondering what the F1 world would have looked like under his leadership. Yet, Michael Schumacher's legacy in F1 goes beyond his potential role as a team principal. He revolutionized the sport and left an indelible mark.